In this video, we're going to be creating a rock climbing wall with an on shape. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on my front face. We can look at the front face. And again, there's a bunch of different ways that you could create a rock climbing wall. Um, I'm just going to start off by simply making a wall. So I'm going to make this wall, uh, we could say 8 feet by 12 feet. And we'll say OK. Um, so what we're going to do is we're basically just going to be making a normal wall right here. We'll say, sure, four inches. Um, and we have our wall. Now we just need the rocks. Um, so the first thing you could do uh, when creating these different rocks for a climbing wall um, is the first thing you could do is make a bunch of little circle holes uh, for rocks uh, to be pegged into the wall. Um, that might take a little bit longer as you're creating each individual rock. You're then assembling all those rocks into this wall. Um, but that is one way that you could do it. Um, another way that you could do it is you could grab your spline tool. Um, and what we're going to do is do, let's just make some kind of irregular shapes here. So, um, you know, we could kind of maybe make a shape like that. That looks good. That looks like a rock climbing wall rock. Uh, we could put another one down here. Maybe we do a, maybe just a little guy right there. Uh, we'd come up here, maybe, you know, do another shape um, like that. So again, you can really make a lot of irregular shapes using the spline tool. Uh, we could go back up here. We could click on our shapes that we made. Um, and we could just start off, let's say we make these three inches. Um, an awesome thing too is if you create multiple sketches, you could extrude those at different heights. So you could have maybe some at three, maybe some at two, maybe some really tiny ones at one. And then the cool thing we can do is we can grab our fillet tool here and click all of our outside edges and we can start to round these. Maybe this would make it a little bit easier to grab onto. You can see now that these outside edges are rounded. Um, and, you know, continuing this process, this would be a great way to create a, a rock ball. Um, what you could do is continue doing this, extruding them at different heights, rounding those edges, um, and going into our appearance panel and adding in a bunch of different color. Um, so this is just one example of how to create a rock climbing wall within Onshape. 